Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Socek with WhatCulture.com and today we are talking about the most surreal moments in WWE history. You know those moments so crazy and weird you don't believe they actually happened? Well to help me out today is former WWE superstar Nick Eugene Dinsmore. Andrew? Yeah. Not Adam. No, uh... Where's Adam? He's, uh... I love Adam. He's the best. You're not Adam. No, he's in England. He's... So he's not here? No, no. He's not here. But that's okay, because we're in beautiful Sioux Falls, South Dakota. <coughs> that only works if you're over, kid. And the fact of the matter is, you gotta say it this way. We're right here in the best little city in America, Sioux Falls. I guess that was better. <laughs> you know what? I really need a bagel. Think you find me a bagel? I'm. I need one, man. Yeah. I... Let me finish the intro. I'll, I'll do it right. You want me right now? Please, please. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're the best. Yeah, I'll go. You're the best. <laughs> From shocking evil twins to my own uncle Eric delivering the hug heard around the world, these are the most surreal moments in WWE history. Hurry up with my bagel. Hey everyone, uh, as you can see I'm on my lunch break, I'm relaxing, but I'm not just relaxing. I'm going to find a wrestler to take on Adam Blompier's Rampage Brown. And to be honest, he is quite a big guy and I'm quite scared. But I think I know someone who's up to the task. Who better than the 10-time OVW champion and former WWE superstar, Nick Dinsmore. So let's give him a ring, see what he says. It's ringing now, I've got through. Hello? Hey, uh, is this... Is this Nick Dinsmore? Yes, this is Dinsmore Entertainment. You want to speak to Nick? Hold on for one second. Hello, this is Nick Dinsmore. Hey man, it's so good to talk to you. It's Jack Who's from- Who's this? From what? Jack, the jobber, the jobber. Jack, the jobber? You need my help? You need me to wrestle for you? Basically, Adam's gone and found uh, a, a bodyguard, a wrestler called Rampage Brown. He's this huge guy. Uh, uh, I need to find a wrestler as well to take him on to compete for the WCPW Heavyweight Championship. And I just thought, who better to ring than, than you? You know, you're, you're experienced, you're a great wrestler, you're a former trainer, you're a 10-time OVW champion. I just thought, you know... Let me see if I'm available. Yeah, I can make it. Yeah, I can squeeze you in. Pretty tight, but because you're a friend, you know, because uh, I know you need me, I know you need my help, I can squeeze you in. But uh, I'm going to need my normal fee, as usual, all up front, of course. Uh, but because of the distance that I will be traveling, there's going to be a small service fee. That will just be tacked on. My uh, secretary will send you the paperwork. Um, of course, I'm going to be need, need the uh, business class upgrade. I mean, my knees are bad, you know, my back's kind of aching a little bit. But I'm your man. I can help you. Um, I also need a, uh, at least a four-star hotel and make sure it has a day spa, you know? I mean, I like to get in, get refreshed a little bit, get, you know, my back worked on, because I want to give you the performance that you deserve. You know what I mean? Um, a few more things. Uh, the dressing room, yeah, where I'm going to be changing, I'm going to need a private dressing room. Uh, I'm going to need some donuts. I don't know what you guys call them over there. I can't remember if they're biscuits or what they're supposed to be, but American donuts, I would like those, please. I would also like a PlayStation, because I like to go to play to relax a little bit. Um, but then I also need a VHS copy of Coliseum Video's Biggest, Smallest, Strangest, and Strongest. Yeah, you know the one. You know, with Gorilla Monsoon versus the Wolfman. I need one of those too, my friend. You good? You down? Another mark. My name is Andrew Socek, and I'm six feet tall, and you can't teach that. And this right here, this is Nick Eugene Dinsmore, and he won the Kurt Angle Invitational. And you can't teach that. Nick, that's your kill. Don't leave me hanging. What the f are you doing? What is this? That's ridiculous. You shouldn't talk with your hand over your mouth on camera. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. What am I doing here? Who booked me for this? Um. Well, I'm not sure, but I, I was doing Enzo More in Big Cass because I'm kind of like the Enzo to your Big Cass. Oh, you're killing me. You're ridiculous. I'm kind of like the Scott Hall to your Kevin Nash. I, I ought to punch you in the face for that one. 
I'm kind of like the Viano 4 to your Viano 5. Oh my God, who booked me for this? This is ridiculous. Why am I here again? Well, you're here to help me introduce the very first episode of WWE and TNA's Worst of the Week. Guess it couldn't hurt now. Nobody's gonna watch this show. You're gonna get canceled faster than a Zack Ryder title run. That's really short. I mean, this show is less interesting than the Marine Four. The Miz? Heck, you're even more boring than Miz's champion. I mean, Andrew, you have less qualifications than Eva Marie. You look like Harvey Whippleman and Colin Delaney had some kind of love child. You should probably be paying the estate of Freddie Blassie for likeness rights to his catchphrase, pencil neck geek. I mean, up and down, I don't even like you. And you can't teach that. Where are you going? You know, I'm gonna go back to Midwest All Pro Wrestling. I said you couldn't be on my show if you were going to do cheap plugs. I would never do a cheap plug or try to push merchandise that's on MidwestAllPro.com. Good day to you. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later, Nick. Um, hey, everyone. Uh, stick around. It's WWE and Teenage Worst of the Week.